coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. <laughs> Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Oh. We're going to play the coconut song. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Okay, I mean, I'm not hearing the song to, to really get a full feel for it. So let's see if that helps. <laughs> lime in the coconut? He really likes that song. Lime in the coconut. Hi, Rose. You're off at six, are you? Uh, hi. What you looking at, my dear? What? Are, no, what are you doing? Don't go in there. She got a log. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it now. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Oh no, it's like a looks like an old lamp, right? Okay, that song is really play baby shark. I can't even turn it off. <laughs> All right, let's uh, dial back our lime and coconut here a little bit. I don't even know if that even did anything. Because uh, what there was a TV show where the lady carried around a log, right? What is that show called? Oh my God! Let's do my rounds. Remind them to change their clothes. Always stay vigilant because darkness never sleeps. Anyone afraid of the dark? Ladies' room. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Nothing spooky about that at all. I don't even know what her, your name is. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Cauldron Lake, you say? Who are you? <laughs> Creepy lady? Hi! You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Okay. This really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. The woman in black? Maybe. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? Hi, gents. Splendid, <laughs> splendid. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Okay, Rose, what do you got for me, my darling? Can I have a cup of coffee? Oh. 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 I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking forward to the poison we have at the park. Bye, Mr. Wake. Wow, she really likes me. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. <laughs> hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Pardon? 
I already have the keys. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Badman here on KBFF. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Looks gorgeous. Diver's Isle. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. Right? It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. So, Stucky came out with and said, Hey, I've got your key, but some other lady gave us a key? What's up with that? I want to go get a good view over here. Mm. How far will this let me go? Well, it looks like there might be something there, but let's have a look here. Look at that view. Selfie time! Gorgeous. We're gonna get to the cabin soon. Oh, this is our car up here. Oh, damn. Oh, and look, a thermos, too. The cabin obviously got its name from the shape of the island. It looked like a giant bird leg. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera. There was a dormant volcano under it. Well, let's grab that thermos while we can. So that's good. There's our car there. It looks like we are kind of gated in here. You got a blue nightlight in your room? Hey, whatever works, right? Leave my, your closet light on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Private property, no trespassing. Okay, let's take a walk see down back here. What a gorgeous view, though. The calm before the storm. So I can switch from, like, left shoulder to right shoulder. Which maybe will be something we need. Oh, she's just sitting, standing there waiting for us. All right. Oh, hello, birds. More birds. Hmm. There is another bird. Very lovely bird. Oh, it just kind of evaporated. <laughs> oh, damn. Enough of the birds. Oh, I, wait, 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 wait. What is with all the birds? Bird leg cabin? They all look like cravens. They sure do. Is this a cabin in the woods? Not exactly. It's a cabin on the lake. I'm going to leave that one. Oh, no, it decided to fly away anyways. The cabin in the middle of the lake. You would not do... Nope. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Maybe. Oh. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Okay, we got to start that generator, I'm assuming. But I want to just 
Yeah, look at that view. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Yeah, if the bridge gets washed out, you're kind of trapped on this island, are you not? Is it a little creepy, is it? I mean, it's during the daylight. It's not that creepy. Whoa, we're walking into the trees here. The power cable goes to that shed over there. Oh, so I do need to turn the generator on. So this game's gonna have like a little bit of puzzliness to it. Little bit. Oh my oh I'm supposed to do something. Come on. Okay, so we should probably go get the power on. Looks a little worn down. Isn't that like just homey or something? Or there's probably a fuse box or a generator in the shed. Here we go. Oh. Yay! Yay, 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 yay. Rustic. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean rustic. Exactly. Rustic is a good on. thing. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. I feel like the sun is setting. There we go. Look at that gorgeous sunset. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Wow, it's getting dark real fast. At least we can stand in the light here. Now, is that the only door? Was there like a front door? No, okay. Hmm. Looks more rusty than rustic. <laughs> Good way to describe it. Ooh, a fish Alice? on the mantle. Honey? Alice. Is she like Alice in Wonderland now? So don't forget, we have to collect a hundred of those thermoses. So if you guys are watching and you see a thermos I don't get, do shout it out. Oh, the radio out here. The Deerfest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phone. Caller, you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. <laughs> it was Alan Waite, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> Rose! I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. She... Spilled the beans on Alan Wake. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Ooh, I like surprises. Oh! <gasps> surprise! Uh oh. Alice, what is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice, you. Everyone hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Gosh darn it. Damn it. 
<laughs> Alice? Alan! Alice! Alice! Alice? Alan! Alice! The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. I'm right here. No! Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. No! Alan! Help me! What the hell, birds? What the hell? Alan! No! Oh, oh, damn. The birds are... Stay away from me! Who? The birds! No! Is he dreaming? I don't know. Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up. Alice? Uh. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. The face animation is scary. Is it spoopy? Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. <laughs> Alan has some anger issues. He's a little angy. How the hell did we survive this? Look at how like it's like teetering here. Damn. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. A beautiful night for a wander through a dark, spooky forest. Damn. Well, maybe it's a rental. <laughs> maybe we have good insurance. Maybe. I feel like we're walking away from the gas station. Hello? Hello? We're in good hands with farmer's insurance. Light's a good thing, right? Hello? Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. That seems like a problem. Oops, this one. So here are the pages we need to get. Now these ones that are f had the little symbol after that's only available in nightmare mode, and we're playing on normal. Departure by Alan Wake. You found a manuscript? Yeah, yeah. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Yes, our books do come alive. That is a great way to describe it. And uh, yeah, I think that um, more on that, you know, like we're going to have 
91 of these pages to collect. <laughs> so there should be lots and lots of collecting. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be interesting to see how well we manage to get that all done. Okay, I just needed to check something real quick. Here we go. I would have a flashlight and a weapon. I fully agree. There's no like yellow ladders for me to follow here. Anybody there? I don't Please, think... I've been in an accident. I don't have any weapons at this point. Nor do I have a flashlight. So this is fine. Loving the misty feel here. No animals either, right? It's safe. Ooh, look at that waterfall. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. So is this the end of the road here? End of the pathway? Looks like it. So I'll go over here and hop the fence. This looks safe. Ow. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hello? Hey. Hey, you. Phil. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. Listen. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Nightfall. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please, to meet you. Non-refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Uh, fair and square. Okay. Where the hell did he go? Run. Okay, okay, okay. I guess we're not gonna go that way. Now, now, let's see what we can do here without a weapon. Run! I can run. I need to figure out where to run to. Okay, that does not look safe. In bright balls, what did it do to Come piss on. this guy off? You lose. Shit. Oh. It's the ow, 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 ow. Two birds. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, God. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Okay, so yeah, that could have went better. <laughs> I will take those batteries though. During your record, trying it's the latest thing in con 
dastardly, proven health benefits let you kill Tupac. I wasn't about to open the door as long as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. And keep those cholesterol levels down. Yes.